If you've thought about being vegan or you're already vegan and you felt really limited in your eating options, especially when you go out to eat and you think you're stuck with that boring old salad, where I'm here with Chef Becky Williamson. We're here at Benchmark in Texarkana and you've created some incredible, delicious dishes and you Thank actually you. went vegan for a month, which is insane. Yes. Tell me about that. Well, um, we had a couple of vegan customers that would come in and we'd have to kind of throw something together on the fly for them. And the more we looked into it, I realized there was really no vegan options yeah. in this area. So I decided if I went vegan for a month, I would be forced to make really delicious food. Yes. And learn how to work with it better. So I did that. Um, and we did it through the entire month of April and came up with um, what you see here, our four course vegan meal. And it turned out really well. We've had a lot of really great reviews on it and a lot of crowd pleasers. So yeah. I'm really excited about That's it. That's awesome. So tell me about some of the ingredients that you're working with. You guys just rolled out in April a full mm -hmm. vegan menu, which yes. is really exciting. We've got four dinner entrees, a dessert, and then two brunch items um, and we have a ton of options to choose from I mean we, we have probably over a hundred to 150 ingredients with it being spices and vinegars and sauces and vegetables and all of the other things that we need to go into it yeah. um, that we keep on hand just to make sure that we can keep this up and keep everybody fed and happy. Yeah, so. that's awesome. So so for people that are just now kind of gravitating into that vegan lifestyle and like I said before, they feel like they're stuck with that salad or they feel like I can't really go on date night or I can't really go with my friends because I'm going to be jealous of what they're eating. I think that their friends are going to be jealous of what they're eating yeah, because absolutely. this looks so good. We actually sell a lot of our vegan items to non-vegans. The tacos yes. are, it, and it's almost frustrating. We have to like over prep. Like, Those are for our <laughs> vegans. <laughs> yes. But yeah, yeah we, we've had a lot of really great feedback mm -hmm. um, and we've put a lot of heart and intention into the dishes to make sure that everyone is enjoying Benchmark no matter what you eat. Yes, absolutely. And the fact that you were able to do it for a month and really create something that you know people are going to love because you perfected these dishes. Absolutely. Yeah, so tell us about these dishes. We have them in front of us right now and my mouth is already watering. <laughs> it smells so good. Tell us what we have here. Well, what we have here is the vegetable stir fry. We do a coconut milk risotto so that cuts all in any dairy out and then we do um, our kabiaki sauce with a bunch of different vegetables and our marinated mushrooms. We just garnish that with like a little bit of green onion yes. um, and a little bit of toasted sesame to finish it off. This one is my favorite. It's the squash au trova, which is French for squash three ways. Okay. We do a spaghetti squash with roasted garlic, grilled zucchini squash, and then we do a Japanese pumpkin kind of patty, almost like a chicken patty, mm -hmm. that's crusted with herbs de Provence and we use a balsamic glaze to finish that. That's more of my French themed one. Then we do um, a kind of a vegan mirror image of our steak frite, which is a portobello frite. Um, I have vegan butter that I do, the steak butters, the ginger butters, um, the vegetable butters so that everything is flavorful and kind of matches mm -hmm. that dish, almost like a mirror image to it. We even do a vegan garlic mayo with that. Awesome. And then the showstopper, the vegan tacos, we do sweet potatoes with um, red onion and it's caramelized together in a chipotle and agave glaze with vegan black beans and then we top it with um a vegan Mexican corn, and that's what throws everyone off. We do vegan mayonnaise, tahini, all the spices, oh my gosh, just no cheese. That is so awesome. And then we finish it with a little bit of an avocado and yes. coconut sauce. That so. sounds so delicious. As soon as you brought out all these dishes, I think our mouths were all watering because they look so so good. But we want to talk about not only this new vegan mini that you guys rolled, rolled out, but the entire atmosphere here at Benchmark and just how incredible it is to walk through the doors and be welcomed by your awesome staff and then just be inside this really nice dining room. Mm -hmm. You get to enjoy these delicious um, dishes and then pair it with a delicious wine. I wish you guys have like an array of a wine selection. Oh, absolutely. So many wines that you can choose from. Yeah, we have a huge wine selection, um, pretty good beer selection, an amazing cocktail selection, which all of our cocktails and all of the cordials and mixes that go in it we make from scratch as well so yes. yeah it's a lot of hard work and uh dedication goes into everything yes absolutely so. well thank you so much becky for inviting us out this looks thank so you. good we're going to try some of the dishes so if you're looking for a place that has lots of delicious vegan options look no further benchmark right here in texarkana has everything that you want and so much absolutely. more yeah come on try it guys i promise that you won't regret it thank you